Hey, welcome back to Minecraft through the night, through the days and through the nights. Okay, so I did make a change. Oops. Uh, it was the Oki. It was an o It was a key bind, and I had to go through a lot of. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Huh. Had to go through a lot of nonsense to. Uh, anyway, but done. It's cool. It's cool. It's all cool. I still don't know what's up with this. But let's go get uh, three more levels somehow. I, I, I don't know how. I don't know how we're going to do it. But let's go get three more levels. Oh, I know, what's, I know what's up. I know what's up. Maybe I don't know what's up. <laughs> Never mind. So I could do sharpness two. I really want that sharpness three. Okay. I gotta think about this. I kind of thinking about replacing the moss carpet with moss block. I hear something weird. You hear that hoop? I hope someday you'll be able to travel with me, but today's not going to be the day. Not going to be the day today, son. Oh, uh, what I do need, today is the day for torches. Torches, hoop. Yeah, you're a cutie too. Doesn't know who whistling at me. He's such a cutie. Yeah, cutie. Yeah, you're a cutie. You're a big cutie. <laughs> That's not me. My goodness. Maybe I want to build out this temple and make it bigger. We got a nice footprint all the way out. We could build it out. Two blocks wider on all sides here. Hmm. Thoughts. Okay. Let's go. Um. Let's go do some more exploring. I'm kind of tired of exploring down south. I want to go. Hmm. I don't know where, man. Let's go west. Let's go out here. Let's follow the mesa. North and then west, past the mid-year crater, west, 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 and just see where we end up. Maybe we'll find some more uh, daisies, daisies, pushing up daisies somewhere, right? Let's get out here. Let's go around to the north and then look for daisies. Uh, same day as the previous recording, and I don't know, just kind of excited about getting back and recording again. After I figured out the um, JEI issue, downloaded a new version of JEI while I was at it. Latest uh, beta version, or beta version, as our British friends say sometimes. Here's a giant cavern system that we could absolutely. Are you Enderman? Hey, I'm looking at you. I warn you, I got good, I got good armor. You gave me a pearl. Thank you, sweetheart. Just feeling, uh, although my stomach feels like a wreck right now from all the junk food I've been eating, I feel very calm and content in my head. I've had the last five, ten, five years I've had, the last three years really, I've had great things come into my life, great ideas that will help me for a long time. 
um, in the, within the last five years, it's the knowledge, it's my ADHD diagnosis and uh, the knowledge that so much of the stuff I struggled with all my life, here, here it is, you know. It gives me not something to blame, but a lens to see it through. Um, and it's so darn helpful in my whole everything, my whole life. I can see things through it. I, I always thought I was so... Um, <clears throat> when I was young, all the way up through high school, and a uh, huge reversion in college, I was so poor socially. Um, I was actually terribly, terribly shy and embarrassed. And, and sh- whatever, all my school life until I was a senior in high school and suddenly I was cool. I was a cool guy because I was senior, a senior. And that confidence allowed me to flirt with some girls, to ask some girls out, to, to just be more comfortable. But then when I got to college, I was so out of my element, didn't know social rules, could hardly understand some other people. A lot of people were a lot, a lot of people came from wealth in the college I went to. Um, Small, small school. Uh, Everybody went to prep school. And I I didn't even know what prep school was. (laughs) The only thing I knew about prep school was it was a pseudo military academy in some places. And that wasn't even close to what these people went through. <laughs> it wasn't anywhere near prep school for them. But um, anyway, I, I never hit my stride in college. I, I was very fortunate to meet someone who um, wanted to spend time with me. And I, I think now it was just she had some check check boxes to to make, you know, and um, and I mean, on top of that, I have to credit my mother, my my girlfriend at the time, who became my wife and now my ex-wife. She kind of fell in love with my mother, and totally understandable. I I totally understand it. Um, my mother is absolutely a mom that people will fall in love with. I've had at least three different women in my life who have fallen in love with my mom and uh, as a mom as a mom figure of course Um, not in any other weird way but as a mom figure here is a circle circle of daisies crazy little let's go get some diamond I hope um And, uh, I, in business, I, it took me years out of college to really hit my stride. And, um, I I never, honestly, I always struggled. Ooh, also, this is, oh, okay, Emerald. Okay, so you're gonna be you're gonna be that way the the green meat. Okay. All right. Well, I kind of really want some diamond, but kind of really really kind of want some diamond. But I know this is how it's gonna be. So. All right. Uh, I don't know where the bottom of this. I don't know where the bottom could possibly be here, but. I don't want to test it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but finally, I have something, a, a, a way I can understand my awkwardness, uh, and I can a way I can understand my food anxieties. Um, people on the aut- autism spectrum famous for chicken nuggets 
white bread, you know, for um, famous for comfort foods. And that was really me. Um, that was, that's me. It's only since, uh, you know, I began meeting people that, um, international people that I met uh, at work that I finally started working out of that um, fear, that food fear. But, uh, you know, that was a long, slow process, too. Well, fiddle sticks. All we got out of this deal was emerald and... Emerald's nice, you know. It's, it's, if it had to happen twice, I think that emerald is great and would suffice. Uh, let's go on up here to the north and then to the west. We won't be able to find... Let me mark this with a double torch like we do. We won't be able to find any more uh, rings of daisies here in this... Um, forest. I'll be able to see them for the trees, for the leaves. <clears throat> so, I mean, early on I've been lucky. Um, and now, now I'm finding actual real help. The ADHD diagnosis and uh, online resources to help me understand what this thing actually is. You know, what is this? diagnosis and what does it involve do we already uh, I don't see a chest here that, was this looted already uh, or gold I must have looted this already okay anyway even if it even if it wasn't looted it's just gonna be some gold knickknacks like it usually is right um, here just in the last few years uh, I met Noi and she um, invited me to Thailand and I cowboyed up and told her I wanted to be a part of the meditation because uh, I wanted to learn about it maybe as a way to help me manage my ADHD and uh, meditation is an absolute life changer for me um, and there are people who meditate a lot every day most of the time when I meditate, it's usually one to two minutes of meditation. And I'll just do it like um, at my computer. I'll be waiting for a game to load or a video to load or be waiting on something else. And I'll just take a quiet minute, uh, turn things off, take a quiet minute and meditate. Focus on breathing. Practice acknowledging thoughts, letting them go acknowledging feelings and let them go kind of wave at them appreciate them and let them pass um, and as you do that it's simply the practice of doing that acknowledging feelings letting them go practice acknowledging there's one right there um, thoughts letting them go simple the simple practice of doing that gives one uh, gives one a place in which to stand outside of one's thoughts and emotions. It gives one a center, which is, I'm sorry if it sounds like hocus pocus or voodoo magic or nonsense. It, it's, I don't know another way to explain it. Um, it's a ring of, of uh, dandelions but even if I just do it for a minute a day it feels to me like one minute of meditation can recapitulate an entire day now more is better this is just my way of thinking about it you know I may be all wrong about this uh, maybe listening to this uh, next year and cringing about it you know you know like we do right as we learn we cringe about what we thought we knew and and 
uh, declared as truth, even though it was wrong. Um, was it confidently incorrect or something like that? So with that disclaimer aside, it, it's my rule of thumb lately is one minute of meditation can re recapitulate an entire day. And in doing so, the more one minutes I can do, the more days I can recapitulate and gradually come into my awareness of my life and my being, who I am and what the heck I'm doing here, man? What am I doing? What I'm doing? Yep. Okay. Here's one ring that we have. Thank you, Prass Dog, for denoting that. Let's go up to this one up here. We may have done this one as well. Um, but um, I think that has kind of become a uh, benchmark for me is to get one minute of meditation per day. And some days I'll carry on for two minutes. Some days five minutes. Some days ten minutes. Um, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is to get that one minute per day. And some days I will get more. And I gradually I will process eventually many many days of my life through meditation when I was at the uh, meditation center learning with the teachers um, they prepared us for this and um, and I mean they did a really <laughs> I had a lot of criticisms about the teach about the organization of the meditation center it relied on almost I think entirely voluntary volunteers I don't think there was any paid people at the, there at all the facilities were rudimentary um, but um, but the teachings were so rock solid you know grounded in rationality and grounded in cognition our primary teacher uh, told us pretty much every day you don't have to it's not about trust you don't have to trust me test everything I tell you against your own experience test everything you you learn here Everything you see, everything you think, everything you feel, test it against your own uh, rationality, against your own past. Don't trust me on a single thing. Test everything. And uh, the teacher was right. Um, ooh, calcite again. So, I mean, that's a kind of a teaching I can really get behind and respect. Somebody saying, "Don't, don't trust me. Trust yourself. Trust, if if it's if you if it's right, if it passes your test, then you trust it. But don't trust it until it passes your test. Um. And uh, anyway, it just you know. So three years ago, I I went into meditation center, scared to death heart racing not knowing what not knowing what this crazy stuff is going to be about or anything like that and um, not knowing if I could manage it <laughs> at all with my ADHD and I, I did it you know 10 days of noble silence I did it and um, the relationship with Noi was not the romantic lovey-dovey heartmate thing I had hoped for. There it is. Beautiful diamonds. F four diamonds. Fantastic. Um, but it was sufficient. You know, don't always get what you want. But, but you get what you need. And the other thing uh, that I learned in Thailand was how important good quality food or 
good quality food is and the fact that I wasn't accustomed to good quality food shockingly first world country third world food in the United States right here shocking shocking to me at least all right another ring of daisies explored um, I'm sure we went up here let's go on up north and we'll cross over there's a ring of daisies right there I'm sure we've also explored I kind of want to double back and check out the village the village while we are here of course more coal for fuel hopefully we won't need that I keep looking on uh, curse forge for a better uh, electricity generator, power generator for our ooh, for our um, AE2 computer, matter energy computer. Haven't yet found it, but um, I do keep looking. So until then, we'll keep doing the keep doing the coal thing, the coal and the bamboo sticks thing. we've been here before right. um, and now and now the smoothie so if I had to put them in sequence the ADHD diagnosis helped me it gave me a shot at understanding my entire past life and it was a huge dose of humility for me um, hum humble pie it's a big dose of humble pie um, and a another sign that <laughs> you know sometimes you, you you learn you're not as great as you think you are and that that was kind of it for me that was that was one of those kind of slaps for me when people say it slaps I mean for me slaps has got a little bit different connotation um, and then three years ago, meditation and learning about the quality of food from another culture. Um, and then this year, the green vegetable smoothie. Man, I'm already planning and thinking about my smoothie. I already can't wait for my smoothie for tomorrow. And um, one of the tricks I'm playing on myself is I'm not going to let myself have more than one green vegetable smoothie a day because I don't want to get you know uh, uh, burned out I don't want to overdo it and lose interest in it which my ADHD brain would entirely let me do so the green smoothie has been yet another wonderful breakthrough that just brings me to my knees and uh, I really appreciate it feel a lot of gratitude for it and we are very close. We just, we passed the Ring of Daisies, in fact. I'm going to get back that way and then set the bed. There it is. Let's set the bed. I'll see you next time from Minecraft through the night. Be good to yourself, all right? It's the only way you can be good to others. See you next time.